Hey guys, it's Stella. Welcome back to the channel. When I used to do sit down videos like this, I used to always be like, my name is Stella. I'm a New York based flight attendant traveling the world and taking you with me here on my YouTube channel. That was always like my opening tagline. So then after I moved to DC, it was like, hey guys, it's Stella. If you guys don't know me, I'm a flight attendant. I travel the world and I take you with me here on my YouTube channel. Guys, I have been saying that line for so long. I, I got that line down pat. But then I got furloughed and it was like, hey guys, it's Stella, furloughed flight attendant here, waiting to be called back. But guess what guys? So I filmed a video for you guys, what was it, a week ago? It was a few days before Christmas, our company publicly announced that they were gonna be recalling all the flight attendants and back paying us to December 1st. So I will get a paycheck for December, January, and February, and then I am slotted to go back to work in March. So about three months from now, I will get to go back to work. Wait, no, not three months, so about like two months. So the rest of December, which is only a few more days, January, I won't, fly February I won't fly but then March I'll fly when I filmed that video and I let you guys know like we were just waiting for the president to sign the bill but I thought by the time I was done even just filming that video that the signature would be out and done but it didn't happen that way he definitely didn't sign the bill right away I guess there was some things that needed to be changed I I'm not really sure but anyways the bill was finally signed so it's finally signed it's in ink it's dried it's done today FedEx dropped this off and I am assuming that this is the same thing that I got on the email let me just peek at this this was a lot to like send just one little letter here so um this letter here is dated from december 21st so this is the same thing we're excited that congress has reached a deal on a legislative package that includes the extension of the payroll support program um blah 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 again <laughs> allows us to recall all furloughed flight attendant all furloughed team members for pay and benefits so this is the exact same letter but they just wanted to officially give us the actual letter so I like maybe I'll get that framed with like my furlough letter like you're being furloughed and then hey welcome back <laughs> so so many of you guys were commenting like hey Stella the bill isn't signed yet and I was like really it's still not signed and I kept seeing more comments and more comments and I was like okay <laughs> I was about to film like a retraction like hey guys actually Thank goodness everything is signed everything is um, moving forward so I have officially accepted my recall the company sent us an email that we had three options we either accepted the recall to go back to being a flight attendant or we stayed on leave the company before they furloughed the flight attendants they offered a bunch of leaves so you could take like a year leave a two-year leave some flight attendants took it to go back to school or to accept other positions other jobs uh, so that was the second option you could stay on leave or the third option was you could resign from your position so obviously I went with number one I accepted the recall so I will be going back to the line the line is what we call like our schedule like our flying line for that month so I will be going back March 2nd I do still have to get fingerprinted so crazy when you initially become a flight attendant you have to have background checks and they just want to make sure there's no like crazy criminal records I think like on your record or in your history so flight attendants again going back to work all of us that were furloughed have to get another uh, fingerprint test and I guess they're gonna be checking our records again we also have to do some additional training so every year flight attendants have to do a yearly training that keeps us qualified per the FAA and able to fly so my training I believe I did my training last year in uh, I, I want to say I did my training in May uh, May or May April May May or June of last year I did my training so if I were to have stayed furloughed past my year mark I would have had to redo my reoccurrent flight attendant training but since my qualifications are good until May 
May or June, whichever month I went, I do not remember which month I went. Uh, I don't have to do a big, you know, recurrent training. I just have to do a little bit of computer training online. So fingerprint test, a little bit of training online. And when I go in to get my fingerprint test, I will get that bag of goodies back. Do you guys remember that video? That video was so sad. So I posted a video that I was just like vlogging for the day and we had to turn in all of our flight attendant equipment. I put all my equipment like in a Ziploc bag. It was my company tablet. So the company issues all flight attendants a tablet, which is our manuals. Our company manual is just like our guide for everything flight attendant. It tells us whichever aircraft we're flying on, it tells us like if you're flight attendant one, you're gonna sit in this jump seat. If you're flight attendant two, you're gonna sit in this jump seat. Uh, this is the sequence of service for this flight. If it's, you know, an hour to two hours, if it's three hours to five hours, it just breaks everything down for us. So every flight attendant gets a manual. We also have a credit card reader so that it lets us uh, do purchases on the plane. And then it came with a charger. I think it came with another battery, but I'm not sure if I had the right battery because we've had a few different tablets, so I might've given them an old battery. I don't remember. And then we also had my crew ID badge, which when I had to hand that badge over, that was a hard moment. That was like, whew, this is real. This is so real. I am really giving this badge over. I'm really not a flight attendant anymore. In January, I will have been a flight attendant for six years. I started training January 24th of 2015, and then I graduated training on March 11th. So my journey, my start of being a flight attendant is January 24th, but my graduation date is March. So it's like kind of like I just consider January my six years. I've been a flight attendant for six years as of January. That was hard to kind of say, okay, not going to be a flight attendant anymore. Even though I've been doing this for the past, you know, five and a half years, that was definitely a hard moment for me. I remember I was kind of like, okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. And then after I like left the airport and got into the car and Bart drove me off, he's like, are you okay? I was like, I'm kind of not okay. And I remember I turned the camera off and I just was like, got teary eyed. And I didn't want to cry for you guys because I think I'd already cried and told you guys like, I'm not a flight attendant anymore. But that was hard. Being a flight attendant is a job that I have loved. I have loved from the moment I stepped onto the plane and worked my first flight, I was like, this is such an enjoyable career. It's perfect for me. I get to talk like as much as I want to all the passengers, to the crew. I get to explore different cities, different countries, different grocery stores around the world. Like that's my favorite part. <laughs> I definitely thought I would retire as a flight attendant and then all of this happened. It was like, Am I not gonna retire a flight attendant? Is this the end? Are they ever gonna recall us? And there was so many rumors. There was just so many rumors like, you know, I thought we were gonna be furloughed for a few months. And then some flight attendants were saying it's gonna be at least six months that the company wouldn't furlough us if it wasn't gonna be at least six months to a year. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And then when I was like hanging out with Kat, she's like, oh, I heard it's gonna be six years. I'm like, Kat, what are you six years? What are you talking about? No. No. Honestly, guys, I am really just so thankful that we got these letters, that we are going back to the line. I'm excited to start in March. I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop of the process and you know, like what is going on and that yes, everything is signed. We're good to go. Flight attendant vlogs will be back in March. I, like, like I'm so giddy. I'm like so excited. I'm like a kid on like the first day of school. Like you got your new outfit. You're like, dude, your hair's like perfect. Your makeup's on point. You're like ready to go back to school. Like that's how I'm going to be going back to work. Just like, hi. Welcome aboard. Kind of just a long update video, but just wanted to keep you guys updated and in the loop. So, so excited for 2021. I just hope that next year just brings travel back, brings family gatherings back. I know the first thing that I am going to do is fly to Australia. As soon as Australia is open, I am booking a flight and I'm going out there to meet my niece. She was born 
La she was born this year, not last year. I'm already like on to 2021. Uh, she was born last year and I have not got to meet her in person. So I am so excited to get that opportunity. What are you guys, are you guys, are you guys planning a vacation for next year? Let me know what vacation you guys are planning. Like, should I go there too after I go to Australia? So guys, I will see you on my next video. I will keep you guys updated and yeah, bye.